starting to find emoji here. What seems to be the problem? Oh, I didn't notice you're here. Not even the tiny wormhole that I created in order to bend space and time in order to get here? What? Never mind. Benji, who's that? Oh, this is my friend Radia. Radia, meet my cousin Joanna. Hi, Joanna. What are you two up to today? We're just discussing what strand we would be taking for senior high. Some of our classmates seem to have decided already, but we both are still unsure what we would choose. What are your interests? Well, since you've been explaining a lot about nuclear physics lately, I'm starting to find it really interesting. But I don't know what you really do. A career in nuclear physics sounds very interesting, but it seems too far out there. I'd also like to know more about it. Wow, it's a good thing I brought this along with me. I can actually take you on a tour so you'll learn more about nuclear and radiation-related fields and what people who work there do. Are you ready? Sure. sure! Let's go! It looks like we are in a clinic. Correct! We are. Do you remember the first time you had a chest x-ray? Yes, it was for a medical checkup. Oh yeah! X-rays use radiation, so the work of the technician who operates the X-ray is an application of radiation technology. That's just the tip of the iceberg. You see, medical centers like this and hospitals need medical professionals that are trained for equipment like these. That's right, Smarty. Doctors use radiation to treat cancer by killing the malignant cells. Other medical professionals, such as medical technologists and radiation technologists, can also assist in performing the medical procedures and tests. Technicians operate the imaging equipment. Health physicists keep workers safe by ensuring that the people exposed to radiation due to their jobs will not exceed the dose limits set by regulations. That's the end of the clinic tour. Let's get out of here. Whoa! Where are we? We are inside a nuclear power plant. Wow, I heard about this. Can I possibly work in something like this? Yes, if you want to, you can choose to work in a nuclear power plant anywhere in the world. How? You have many choices. Civil engineers and material scientists are responsible for the materials and structural design of the building itself. Mechanical engineers are responsible for the turbines and generators, which are key in converting the heat via steam into electricity. Electrical and computer engineers are necessary for the efficient operation of the plant and the transmission of the electricity to our cities and provinces. But the Philippines has yet to establish a functioning nuclear power plant. What if I only want to work locally? Don't worry, the Philippines already started major initiatives that will lead to a full-fledged nuclear energy program. In the near future, there will be opportunities for young people like you to work in the local nuclear energy industry. That's right, Smarty! But for now, there are local industries apart from nuclear energy where engineering skills are applied and they all still have much to do with radiation technology. This looks like a factory. There's nuclear technology here? Yes. Refineries and production plants use nuclear technology to improve their production and keep their operations efficient. Engineers and technicians use radioactive tracers to measure the flow rate of liquids in pipes. 
while gamma rays can help monitor process vessels without stopping the operation. Operators of gauges also help determine the thickness, density, location, and composition of materials and products. Wow! Guess where we will go next? Do we use nuclear energy for plants? I didn't expect that. We do. Agriculturists and biologists develop new varieties of staple food crops as well as ornamentals. One way of doing this is through mutation breeding, where radiation is used to induce mutations to plants in order to obtain improvements and new characteristics. Using isotopes, Chemists can also cooperate with agriculturists to analyze soil fertility, nutrient and water use efficiency or different plants in different environments. Meanwhile, entomologists can also develop measures against insects and pests that threaten crops without causing damage to the environment. These include radiation quarantine treatments for fruits and sterilization of insects to reduce pest populations. Engineers could also be involved in the design, establishment, and operation of radiation facilities that can be used for treatment of sewage water, desalination, and disinfection of various wastes. A good example of these techniques can be seen in applications that are used to help protect the environment. Chemists using isotope-based techniques play an increasing role in the field of environmental studies. These include research on air and water pollution, groundwater resource management, and remediation of typhoon-affected areas, to name a few. Many companies can hire scientists and researchers as part of their R&D team, which will develop new proprietary technologies that will help keep their company's edge over other competitors. That's great! I want to discover more about nuclear energy in the future. Maybe help people invent something from it. Can that be my career? Me too! Sure! You can both have careers in research in the academe. All science professionals, be it physicists, chemists, biologists, are encouraged to engage in basic and applied research. By themselves, the results of these research projects are valuable contributions to the body of knowledge in a particular field of study, especially when published in internationally recognized journals and other publications. A science professional may also have a chance to be part of a faculty in a college or university. Academic support and funding for research projects will allow for a career that is exclusively focused on research and development. The results of the researcher's studies are also intellectual property. He or she may earn royalties from people and companies who use these via the registration of patents and utility models. The Department of Science and Technology, or DOST, as well as other government agencies rely on research and development. These agencies are in need of professional talent in the sciences. Where are we? We are inside the Philippine Nuclear Research Institute. The Philippines has a nuclear research institute? Of course! The PNRI has been existing since 1958. In facilities like these, research, experimentation, and training is undertaken to advance the application of nuclear technology in the country. Wow! So working here is one of the many ways I can serve my country. How else can specialists in nuclear technology work for the government? The best scientists in the civil service can push their career even higher by joining the scientific career system. Once awarded, the applicant is conferred the official rank of a career scientist giving them higher pay grades and allowing them to progress in their careers unhindered by the regular promotion process. 
That was an awesome trip. Thank you. We learned so much about our options in the nuclear science field. We sure did. That's great. Who knows? Maybe you both can be future nuclear scientists. It would be nice to have more. It's possible. That would be awesome.